Hey guys and welcome to a new video from Hackinons. In this video, we will see how to send OTP message using Python. There are a n number of APIs that you can use for your project. Let's say you want to use an API that has the capability to send messages, for example, OTP, etc. For that, we will be making use of the Twilio API present. So first thing, you need to go to the Twilio's official website and you need to get yourself signed up. So I have currently signed up. If you haven't signed up, you'd get a sign up button here. So you need to click on that. Do a quick sign up process, which takes in all your details and also has a setup which will confirm your existence using your mobile number. And then you can get go to your console so I've come to my console right now and then you get a set of details related to your Twilio account. And first thing is uh, when you keep scrolling down, you'll find one section where you need to create a phone number. So you need to quickly create that. I've also done that creation. So it's really simple. It's just a simple button and it chooses a phone number for you and you can get that ready. So then after that, you've got all your account SID details, your odd tokens, and your phone number, or I like to say virtual phone number that will send the messages to the preferred contacts. Once you've done all this, now you need to install the Twilio Python's uh, module. For that, you need to simply go to your command prompt and you need to say pip install twilio, that's Twilio, and you simply need to press enter. And I've also already got it installed, so it did it pretty quickly. And let me close this. And now it's time to go to my code editor to write certain code. So first thing to understand how to create an OTP, you need to know that OTPs are random numbers generated. So if that clocks in something into your mind, that's great. We will make use of the random module present in the Python library to ran generalize random set of numbers. So that I'll simply say import random and then we'll also use the Twilio's uh, module for that I'll say from Twilio that is from Twilio dot rest basically it's its rest API we will import client so basically client is a simple class created by the Twilio developers and then now we will create first our OTP and I'll just say random dot random so basically random dot random creates a random integer from a given set of values. So I like to say from 1000 to 9999. So this is the set of numbers that could get generated as an OTP. You could choose any set of numbers. That's all up to your likings. Then we'll create a variable called as account underscore SID. And here is the SID token that will go in from your main account. So let me just quickly copy that and let me paste that here then we've got the auth token that is the authentication token and that also let me just quickly copy that down from here paste it and finally we will create a client object using the client class so that client class takes in two arguments that is the account sid that we quickly wrote on top and its auth code okay you need to do that for authentication and so that the API will know from where the requests are being sent. Okay. And now we need to create a message and this message will be from the client's messages option. Okay. So what I'll say is client dot messages dot create. So basically we're creating a new message and inside this parenthesis, we've got a set of options that we can write. So first thing is the body that is the message that will be going to your user. So I'll just create an F string and say your OTP is and here we will put the OTP that we created. So that we created right on top of here on the lines 162. So let's put that here. So this is the OTP and then after that now we will create a set of root points matlab from where to where the message is going to go so it's going to go from the virtual number that is created so that is from here so let me just paste that down here 
and then now the number to which it's going to go so i'm going to say 2 is equal to the number that i'm going to send it to and it's also important to note that you put the country code that in which you live so i've put the code of plus 91 without that you'll not be able to send messages and it would simply throw an error and now let's run the program and now let me show you the otp message that came on my phone so basically twilio sent an otp on my number so that's it from this quick video where we learned to send otp authentication messages to any random number over the internet using the twilio's api if you like this video do drop a like and subscribe to the hackanon's youtube channel